Measuring Penny by Lorleen Levy. My name is Lisa, and my teacher says our next big homework project is to measure something. Mr. Jason says that we can measure anything, like a sofa, a television set, or a doll. When I got home today, my dog Penny jumped all over me as usual. Wow, I could measure Penny for my homework. She's a Boston Terrier and is bigger than a pug and smaller than a Cocker Spaniel. She's about the size of a Shetland Sheepdog. Penny, please stop drooling. Come on, Penny, I'll get a ruler and we'll run over to the park. Look at all the dogs out here today. Hey, get down! I can't believe how many dogs live around here. Fine, I'll measure some of you too. We're supposed to use a standard unit, so let me use inches to see how long your noses are. Stop licking my face. I'll measure your tails with a non-standard unit. Dog biscuits. Will you please hold still? Penny has the shortest tail. I'll measure your ears with another non-standard unit. Cotton swabs. Don't wiggle so much. Let's see how wide your paw prints are. I'll turn over my ruler and measure with another standard unit, centimeters. I want to see how tall you are. Everybody sit. Let's see how high you can jump. Penny can jump up to my waist. I could use myself to measure with. There is no scale here in the park, so I can't weigh anything. Wait, I could use the seesaw to see how heavy Penny is compared with the other dogs. The seesaw is down on Penny's end, so she is heavier than the pug. Now Penny's end is up because she is lighter than the Cocker Spaniel. The seesaw is balanced, so she weighs about the same as the Shetland Sheepdog. You look thirsty, Penny. We'd better go home and get you a drink. See you later, everybody. Let's stop in the bathroom so I can weigh you. Get on the scale. You're exactly 16 pounds. Now let's go to the kitchen for your drink. Mr. Jason says volume is the amount of space something fills, like water in a cup. So what volume of water do you want? A cup, a pint, a quart, or a gallon? Maybe a tablespoon or a teaspoon? You drank a cup of water already today, and I'll give you another cup now. I suppose you're hungry, too. No, you can't have a whole bag of dog food. I'll give you a half a cup. Sometimes Dad and I make homemade dog biscuits. We measure the ingredients so they taste good. Well, at least to you know who. I'm going to follow Penny around all day Saturday to measure how much time I spend taking care of her. I'll make a poster for this part. I'll measure how quickly Penny can run to different places. She can get from her bed to the kitchen in six seconds.
Temperature is important to Penny. She doesn't like things that are too hot or too cold. Penny likes to go on longer walks when the weather is nice. In fact, you can almost tell the temperature outside just by looking at her. The last thing I'm going to measure Penny with is money. Mom looked through her checkbook to help me figure this out. We decided that Penny was kind of expensive. But she's worth a lot, too. I'm sure Mr. Jason will give me a good grade on this measuring project. Penny, maybe we should change your name to Million.